Okay, this is uh, Kingfisher Lake. Um, just come down for a few hours before dinner. Um, already had two, had a lovely uh, mirror. That was, uh, must have been about five pounds, that one. Uh, and then just had a, another one there, probably about three pound, three pound mirror. Um, now Toby's come down, he's just gonna have a little, a little go, literally just catching him off the rod tip under that, just in front of that uh, 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 tree there sticking out. Uh, just float fish, lunch and meat, nothing, nothing special, no hair rigs or anything fancy like that. So uh, we'll just see what uh, see what happens now. Lovely, yes. You're in, boy. Lovely. Right. Just give it a little bit of side strain. That's it. You know, you've got a carp there, boy. The last time you said that, that was okay. intense. Right, you don't need to reel anything in, all right? Okay. Right. right. What I'm going to do is give it a little bit of... That's it. You can play it better now. Do I need to reel? Right. No, no, no. You're all right. Just let it. Just let it. That's it. Just let it wander around. Okay. Yeah. That's it. You just let it wander around. Wherever it goes, you 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 sort of slightly pull the rod. Don't give it any slack. And what we do is we just let this one play. Yeah. Does it feel nice? Yep. That's it. See, like, like a dog, like we did last time, you know, down at um, Sam's, like a dog on a lead. You just let it go wherever it wants to go. But you just apply, just keep a, a sort of a, not a really tight line on it, but just enough to keep it a little bit of tension on the line. Tension, very good. That's <laughs> fine. You're doing well, boy. You're doing well. What I'll do is I'll get near the neck. Yes, a mirror, darling. Yeah, a mirror. Oh, this is Toby's mirror that he's caught. About three and a half, three and a half pounds, something like that. Yeah, about yeah. that. So yeah. he's going to slip it back now. Right. No, no, come round. That's it. Well done, mate. Well done. Well done. Oh well, well that was uh, that was a result. Uh, just had uh, dead on six pounds. But are you not ready to earn them? No, exactly six pounds that one on float fished strawberry luncheon meat. Is it strawberry? And uh, fished really close in. It's so uh, it's quite shallow here. It's only literally less than less than two foot so uh, and that was caught not under the rod tip probably about four foot out uh, so uh, yeah we'll chuff with that we gave a really good fight and uh, let's see if we can get another one before we have to go back morning uh, nothing nothing really going on um, it's uh, very quiet this morning, had two bream, uh, I've tried all sorts this morning, bait wise, um, just don't seem to be having to start off 
glorious morning, sun, you know, it was, uh, it was really nice, but um, doesn't seem to be much happening today, so I think I've made a, dropped a bollock with my ground bait actually, because I've added something to the ground bait, I've added some almond essence, I may have put too much in, so I may have turned them off. But uh, I'm now on corn at the moment, just two grains of corn on a, on a Medford feeder. I had both the bream on pellets, um, uh, bloodworm flavoured pellet, but I've tried meat, I've tried halibut pellets, I've tried, you know, all sorts. So I'm now on the corn um, and I'll see how it goes with that. I'll let you know. Well, that's the result of the corn, literally a couple of seconds after I just did that last uh, little video. It's uh, probably about a two, two pound bream, something like that. So, see if we can get some more. Well, after being really slow, this nice, nice mirror. Four pound, I suppose. Four pound on a bit of corn on the method. Uh, just a one six pound five mirror, quite a nice one uh, from the pads uh, on lunch meat on the method. So uh, see if we can get some more. Well, uh, that was a frustrating day's fishing. Um, Fished all day, well, say all day, from about, didn't start fishing till about half eleven because uh, taking um, the wife and the boy at the Monkey World, dropped them off, came back. By the time I got back, all the good swims were gone on Kingfisher Lake, so I ended up settling for uh, Horseshoe Lake, which is, it's alright, it's not too bad, but um, I didn't really want to fish it, but I fished it out of curiosity, really, so uh, I fished the method. Uh, not nothing really happening really. I, I, the probably mistake I made was I made my own graham bait, and it just wasn't uh, potent enough. Had no real flavour to it, no aroma. Um, so it was just like a just like a biscuit based um, vitalin um, we, um, blended down. Nothing really much to it. Um, then I, I wasn't getting much on that, so I switched to lunch of meat. Bang! Straight away had a, a very small tench. Um, and then proceeded to have a few carp. Best carp of the day, I suppose, was about uh, was, was six pound five, so it wasn't too bad. Um, but you're plagued with uh, families either side of you, um, kids encroaching on your swim. You know, it's not great. It's not a great day's fishing, and it's quite frustrating. Any ended up um, fishing free line lunch of meat on carp, literally in the margins. They were swirling stirring up the bottom so I knew they were feeding um, scavenging for food so I just laid some ground bait down fished uh, lunch meat cubed lunch meat over the top managed to pick up um, a couple probably about two or three uh, one of them was immaculate unfortunately I didn't get a picture but it was only about two pounds but scale perfect for a mirror and it had a big hump back to it and everything so very nice fish beautiful fish in this place they are nice but, um, you know, uh, whether I do a little bit this evening or not, just float fish lunch and meat uh, remains to be seen. Um, I might have had enough today, to be honest. And um, there's a carnival tomorrow in town. So I don't know if I'm going to get uh, get to do any fishing tomorrow. So we'll see how it goes. But I'll keep you updated. Morning. Um, on the Kingfisher Lake, uh, it's packed. packed this morning. Just using the method, trying the method, and the little cube of meat, trying to get back to the car. We'll open this up, see how we go. Using a strawberry fish meal, strawberry, with uh, added, added pen and pork.
bigger than skins. Big back. Pound and a half, two pounds. One carp. One common. It's been very quiet now. People drifted away. Well, the compliment on now. Uh, got a few, uh, few minutes now. And nothing. Nothing really. Probably about 10 minutes. Nothing on me. So I didn't bring this one in. You have to really ring the changes on this uh, lake really. It's, uh, it goes a bit quiet. It's unusual. So, gone anyway. We'll change, change to a piece of pond and we'll see what happens with that. Probably pick up a ring. But A single grain for some reason they seem to be put off by double grains so I'm not passing too far out there's an area I can pump that you can probably hear Tension in the line. Okay, um, a little bit slow, so changed uh, hook bait again. Now I've gone over to uh, pelletos, or a uh, uh, pre-drilled pellet, pellet uh, eight mil. Open, open them up a little bit to get the uh, Guru um, bait stock through. But these are uh, halibut flavour. And I wasn't getting anything at all. Uh, so I swapped over to one of them. And it was literally quite instant. Uh, an instant bite. Had a, had a fish on. I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was um, uh, part or, or green. But uh, it jumped straight out of the water on the on the on the tape, so it must be fairly shallow where I'm fishing. Uh, just going to stick another one up.
got some more crap in them. Uh, the event just uh, came out for a bit of float fishing, float fishing lunch and meat, strawberry flavour lunch and meat right in that corner. And that's the result, nice, nice little tench. About a pound, pound and a half, not big. Welcome, nevertheless. Let's get some more. <laughs> 